Hello, welcome back, welcome to my class. We will learn in simple, fast, and fun. Let's go. Today we will learn chapter 7. The title is My Uncle is a Zookeeper. Okay, from the title before, do you know the topic in this chapter? Yep, in this chapter we will learn tense and the tense is simple present tense. In chapter 7, the goal is the students are able to use simple present tense. Let's check the material. First tenses. Tenses play a crucial role in the English language. It shows the time action takes place, whether sometime in the past, in the present, or will take sometime in the future. The verb indicate the time. Next, simple present tense. The simple present tense is the tense most often used in English. Simple present tense is the tense used when an event is taking place at this time or present or an event that occurs repeatedly or habit. Functions of simple present tense the First, state even in the present or now and then the second, state habit and then the third, state general truth here is the formula of simple present tense. We have the formula of positive form and negative form and interrogative form. We can use this formula to create sentence in simple present tense. Okay, look at the example. Example of positive form. They wash the animal every day. The sentence consists of subject for one and object and the second they are happy the subject is they it used to be are an adjective okay and then next sentence he washes the animal every day subject for one plus es plus object we add es in the verb because the sentence use third person singular subject he the third person singular she he it if the subject is the third person singular we should add s or es after the fourth one the spelling for the verb in the third person differs depending on the ending of that verb Look at here. For verb that end in O, C, H, S, H, S, S, X, or Z, we add ES in the third person. For verbs that end in consonant plus Y, we remove Y and add I, E, S. And for the verb end in a vowel, plus y we just add s look at the example okay next example of negative form he doesn't finish the work subject plus does plus not plus for one plus object we use doesn't because the subject is third person singular he next the deer is not good subject plus to be is plus not plus adjective do you like food do plus subject plus for one plus object
it's for interrogative form and then next is it delicious to be is plus subject plus adjective okay here is the example of simple present tense in a sentence Dayu, Lina, and Siti are never late to class. They walk to school, but they always get to school on time. They rarely take public transport. They look healthy and happy all the time. They often speak English to each other, to their friends, and to the English teacher. They ask questions in English. They answer questions in English too. Their English is very good. Okay, that's all the example. Now it's your turn. For your evaluation, please write your routine activities in a paragraph. Make sure you write it in simple present tense. Oh, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.